Hello everyone, welcome to this next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In today's demo session, we will discuss on what is device model. Many times when you're creating a Fury application, there's a question which you have in your mind that can I change my certain UI behaviors or certain UI elements visibility based on the devices I run my application. The most interesting thing about SAP Fury which makes it more interesting or much better as compared to the old UI technologies, classical UI technologies like SAPQI, WebDIN Pro, BSP is its responsive nature. It's nature of adopting itself by the devices. And that's where we have a very powerful concept in SAP UI 5 called device model. So let's have a look at what is device model and how can you adopt your user interface automatically based on different devices. Before we move on, it's my request to all of you to please subscribe to this UI5 channel. And this is the best channel we have right now online where you can find lots of videos which are helpful for you in your technical learnings. If you want to start your learning from foundation, we strongly recommend you to go and browse our website onlinefurytrainings.com. We will put the link into the description of this video to directly browse through these different variety of technical courses on our website. With that, let's move on and we'll switch to our SAP Web IDE. So this is where we have a very simple uh, basic project created by far. I just execute this. It's a very simple uh, project with two buttons inside right now, nothing much. So first of all, I would like to create here a device model. So for that, what we do is we go to the controller and we add a dependency here in the scaffolding called SAP slash UI slash device. This is the dependency we need. And now I will also add that here. And let's use this device to create a device model. So we will go ahead and create an init method. This is the constructor of your controller class, which gets called right after the controller instance is created, like we learned it in our training. So if you want to know more about basics of SAP UI5, we strongly recommend you to go to our website, onlinefurytrainings.com. And that's where you can subscribe to our latest technical courses on SAP UI5. So let's go ahead and now create a new model, var o model. It's going to be a JSON model. So new sap.ui.model.json.json model. And we'll quickly set the data to the JSON model. Set data. And this data is nothing but the data which you receive here from the device dependency. And now we will set this model at the application level using sap.ui.getCore.set model to the application level. So let's pass this model instance. And typically, this model should not be default one, rather than it will be a named model called device. And now just to give, show you some kind of glimpse on this, what we do is we quickly go to the view and just create two text elements. So I'll create two text elements. And the text property, I will bind it with our device model. So we just do the binding with the property binding. And I say device arrow. And here we will say, please tell me what is the system. What is the value of system? And we can check the value of phone variable in the system entity in this model. At the same time, I will also check the value of desktop. So this is what is basically part of device model system entity. We will get to know which system are you running this application. Is it a desktop or is it a phone? I will also put quickly a text here. Is a phone or probably is a desktop. I save this up and let's go ahead and execute this application. So come back and refresh. And you would see here the system instantiate the device model is saying is phone is false and is desktop value is coming as true. Now, this is the base for us to basically adapt or change our screen based on the devices. So you can see right now, since I'm running on a desktop mode, uh, the system is actually showing me the value as true. So what I do is just press F12. And now I click on this nice button here called toggle device toolbar. 
to turn my uh, turn my desktop browser into mobile phone and now i can choose here the mobile phone which i want to test this application so probably i go with iphone 6 and 7 and now i just make this screen size as 100 percent and just reload my application so now if you see when i reload my application what system does it automatically identifies that now this application is getting executed in a phone so you can see his phone become true and his desktop has become false so this is the base now the device model which tells you at runtime whether you're running this application into a desktop or in a phone interesting isn't it so now we are going to use this property and directly bind it with the visibility of our u element so what i'll do is i typically go ahead and create an image so i've already uploaded an image to my project folder called oft png so right now i just remove these text elements and we just simply say that i want to create an image with src property of course source of my image is going to be my image folder slash oft png and now what i will say is uh, please make sure that this image is visible only in the desktop devices so i just put curly braces and i will say here bind it with the desktop device so this desktop will value will be true of course when you're running this application in the desktop so image will be will be displayed naturally but the moment you turn your um, turn your device to be the phone this value will naturally become uh, false with due to the device model and as a result of that our image will disappear in the phone mode yeah. so I can save this now let's go back and refresh so you should see a, a, a logo an image from um, from the website okay there's some problem you can see I have missed out something I guess so let's check here so let me see what is that which we missed and definitely i think i missed the path i mistyped the path and its images folder i just save this go back and refresh now voila you can see our image is getting displayed on the ui but now hey what happens when i run this in the phone naturally so let's press f12 and once again switch to the device uh, toggle toolbar so that system can run this application as if like it's running on a mobile so now i just uh, turn it to maybe an iphone x and refresh my page so the moment i refresh my page you would see that device model comes into action and it has made uh, my image automatically disappear thanks to the device model in sap ui5 isn't it what an amazing feature so this is how certain things can be uh, can be made hidden can be made bigger lower so this model is not just uh, you can bind it with the visibility but probably with some other properties or you can utilize this property in your controller to make the size adjustment done accordingly so for example suppose I want to change the size of an image at runtime or I want to change the image itself at runtime when I'm running in the phone so I don't want to show this particular image when I'm running on the phone rather I want to show a different image when I'm running in the phone so let's probably try that up so let me import another image to my uh, to my to my image folder I'm gonna right click and say import import from file system and now it, I'll show the system a uh, particular image from my computer so I will quickly go to my computer and then from my computer I will uh, pick it up some uh, logo image so I have picked up uh, uh, my underscore logo PNG and I say upload that please and now what I want is I want when I run my app into mobile I want to show this my underscore logo and if not then probably I want to show this one so one good way is you can utilize the same control or you can also create two controls and make alternatively these controls visible or enabled it's your choice so my personal view is probably let's go with the with the option where we just make the same control changed at runtime so i can just give an id id img for this control and probably visibility we should remove it from here because we want to display in all cases this image so by default it will display the oft image but when i come back and when I'm loading it up here, I will just quickly check if uh, the value of my uh, value of my device property, device model property. So I can say, oh my model dot get property, and I'll say, hey, please tell me whether um, the the system is a phone. 
yeah if this is a phone yeah in my model so if this is going to be a phone property so then if this is true then what I'm, I will do is I will just basically take the object of my image control which is uh, this particular image control ID IMG and I will be making this dot get view dot by ID and I'll put it here and then say set SRC I will be changing the source of the image at runtime uh, to my new image my underscore logo dot PNG so let's come back and I'll say images slash my logo dot PNG so basically in the mobile device please show this particular image and of course you can write an else condition to to basically tweak it with another image and that that's how it is going to work so let's come back and first let's quickly look at in the desktop mode when I refresh of course by default the first image comes up but when I press F12 and now I just quickly do a refresh since I'm running now in iPhone X uh, mode and it should uh, trigger my code and voila you see now the image is different so at runtime I can tweak things up I can make things visible enable disable uh, a lot of whole lot of the bunch of things I can I can do that uh, as part of my screen and that's where the device model is very very handy thanks to SAP UI 5 uh, for allowing us to do that uh, tweaking with the help of device model with that it's a wrap thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe and hit the bell icon on this channel so that you get notified such powerful videos on SAP UI 5 about on HANA and S4 HANA topics with that Anubha signing out and goodbye <music>